Hello, hello, everyone. My name is Kelly Hoover. This is Blair Critch, and we are Blessed Mama Bosses. Welcome to our page. So we have chatted a little bit about mornings. We have chatted about time blocking. We have chatted some about how to bookend, how to really begin and end your day to set yourself up for success, not only in your business, but in your home life as well. And today we are sharing three tips on time saving for all you women out there who are building a business or working hard at your jobs. Tip number one is Sunday planning. Really sitting down, you and your calendar, you and your family schedule, you and everything, and plan out your week. What is coming up that are non-negotiables that are on your calendar? What are the, the fun things that need to happen? Everything that needs to be included, but planning it on Sunday so you are ready, you are prepared, you are looking forward, and you know what is on your calendar. Sitting down and having that meeting, it may take you 10 10, 15, 20 minutes of time, but I promise you it will save you so much time in the coming weeks where you're not reacting to things. You are prepared and everyone in your house is as well. Blair's going to share tip two and three. So true, Kelly. I love that. You know, being proactive is so much better than being reactive and it saves you so much time and energy. But you know what else it saves you? decision fatigue. It's a real thing. Darren Hardy talks about it all the time. And Success Magazine as well as Forbes Magazine talks about decision fatigue. And that's why we both really love Sunday night when we're doing our Sunday planning. We're also planning out our whole week worth of meals. If you're the one in the home that usually plans it out, if you have older children, you can have them each bring you an idea. It's what we do in my house because I can't stand picking out dinners. And so we know right away what's going to happen for each night that week, including what night we're getting food takeout or we're going out to dinner normally. And that allows us to then be able to grocery shop and know exactly what we need and also set us up to be prepared for the week. And here's a great tip that I learned from Kelly that I absolutely love and uh, so does Lindsay Walters as well, which is double up each recipe that you can and put it in the freezer. But, so if it's the kind that you can double up, do it. It's gonna save you time on those, those weeks that are super busy. Uh, and tip number three, ask for help. All right, listen, I know you are a multitasking, talented woman, and it's hard to ask for help. But honestly, this is part of becoming a leader. And if you were inside of our inner circle, you know, last week we talked about different traits of a leader. This is important. Leadership means that you allow others to help you. So when it comes to your business, allow others to lead team meetings, allow others to step up and do things that take things off your plate and allows them to become the leader that they want to be in your home. You gotta allow other people to step up. How are your kids gonna learn how to do these things when they're older if they're never allowed to do it within the home because you're worried about how they're gonna do it, right? It's not gonna be perfect. It's gonna be a little messy, but they have to learn. Uh, same thing with your spouse, people, all right? This is one that I struggled with really hard because I like things done a certain way. And listen, when I started asking my husband for help, hey, is there a night a week that you can cook a meal or two nights a week, guess what? His meals are egg sandwiches. But you know what? Nobody in this house is going to die because they're eating egg sandwiches for dinner. And it is helpful and he does a great job and he's proud of it. And the kids love it. So that's what I want to remind you is ask for help. So it's Sunday planning. It's planning out your meals for the week. And then also making sure that you learn how to ask for help. Those are three great tips to save you time. And if you want more ways to save yourself time, join us in with our free resource to you, which is our Master Your Time Plan. You'll get that for free. We'll put the link below so that you can access that. Click on it. Put in your information. It gets emailed directly to you. But here's the thing. You can take that. But you've got to take action. So we hope that you will not only get that master your time plan, but then you will take action to watch the video, print out the sheet, and start moving forward. And we want to hear from you. So let us know how it helps you. If you've already used it, let us know how it did help you. If you're going to be using it, reach back out to us. We want to know. We'll see you here tomorrow. We have one more tip for you this week. So we'll see you tomorrow with the Friday fun tip.